Namo Yidafa. Good morning. Thank you for joining me for our daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The first mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by the destruction of life, I vow to cultivate compassion and learn ways to protect the lives of people, animals, plants, and minerals. I'm determined not to kill, not to let others kill, and not to condone any act of killing in the world, in my thinking or in my way of life. We're continuing to read Ajahn Chah's book, Bodhiyana, and we're in the Dhamma talk called Reading the Natural Mind in the section Insight Meditation, Vipassana. If you have faith, it doesn't matter whether you have studied theory or not. If our believing mind leads us to develop practice, if it leads us to constantly develop energy and patience, then study doesn't matter. We have mindfulness as a foundation for our practice. We are mindful in all bodily postures, whether sitting, standing, walking, or lying. And if there is mindfulness, there will be clear comprehension to accompany it. Mindfulness and clear comprehension will arise together. They may arise so rapidly, however, that we can't tell them apart. But when there is mindfulness, there will also be clear comprehension. When our mind is firm and stable, mindfulness will arise quickly and easily, and this is also where we have wisdom. Sometimes, though, wisdom is insufficient or doesn't arise at the right time. There may be mindfulness and clear comprehension, but these alone are not enough to control the situation. Generally, if mindfulness and clear comprehension are a foundation of mind, then wisdom will be there to assist. However, we must constantly develop this wisdom through the practice of insight meditation. This means that whatever arises in the mind can be the object of mindfulness and clear comprehension. But we must see according to anicca, dukkha, anatta. Impermanence, anicca, is the basis. Dukkha refers to the quality of unsatisfactoriness, and anatta says that it is without individual entity. We see that it's simply a sensation that has arisen, that it has no self, no entity, and that it disappears of its own accord. Just that. Someone who is deluded, someone who doesn't have wisdom, will miss this occasion. He won't be able to use these things to advantage. If wisdom is present, then mindfulness and clear comprehension will be right there with it. However, at this initial stage, the wisdom may not be perfectly clear. Thus, mindfulness and clear comprehension aren't able to catch every object, but wisdom comes to help. It can see what quality of mindfulness there is, what kind of sensation has arisen, or in its most general aspect, whatever mindfulness there is, or whatever sensation there is, it's all Dhamma. May all beings be well, may all beings be happy, may all beings be peaceful. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you for joining me this morning.